Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Johnny. Johnny is from Minneapolis, in Minnesota, in the USA. So let's see what Johnny has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello. Yes. Hello, Johnny. How are you? <laughs> good, good. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thank you very much. Thanks for taking the time on the set today to do the interview with me. Yeah, I'm excited. It sounds fun. Good, good. Okay, Johnny, so just before we start the game, just tell me where are you from? Um, I live in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and that's in the U.S. Certainly. And what do you do for a living? I am a realtor uh, with Keller Williams. Oh, amazing. Tell me a little bit about it. Sure. Um, so right now, uh, it's it's a crazy seller's market here in Minnesota. Uh, we don't have enough inventory, but I love going to houses, looking at architecture, um, helping clients find their dream homes and, and find their happy spot. I love working with people and, and I love the freedom too that being a realtor provides me. So it's a lot of fun. That's good, that's great. And um, what's, uh, before we start the game, tell me what's the best part of living in Minnesota? Um, well, right now it's very cold, <laughs> but um, uh, it's there's a lot of lakes and a lot of great outdoor things to do, camping, hiking, a lot of state parks, um, boating, kayaking. If you're an outdoorsy person, there's a lot to do here, so. I see. And what's the situation of COVID right now over there? The restriction, how things are happening right now? Sure. Um, Minnesota's doing pretty well with um, lowering the curve. Uh, we're still pretty restricted, though. Um, a lot of restaurants are not open. Um, public places are not open. Um, it's very limited um, what you can do right now. Uh, very good. Exactly. Right, Johnny. Um, so, welcome to William and the Magic Box. <laughs> Lovely box here, full of random fun questions, okay? So, sure. I'm just gonna play some music just for us to get a little bit in the mood before the first question. Are you ready? Okay. Let's do it. I'm ready, let's do it. Right, ready for the first question? I'm ready, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it, Johnny. Okay, so th the first question is, what's your idea of a perfect day? Sure, um, I love uh, fall days, so um, I would love to walk along. We have St. Croix River here. It's beautiful in the fall. So walking along the river with all the colorful leaves changing. Gotta have a cup of coffee. I love coffee. So uh, yeah, a nice, crisp, colorful fall day along, along the river would be great. Are you a day person or a night person? Morning. Yep. So Morning. I'd, I'd be out there walking at 7 a.m. <laughs> with my <laughs> coffee and in the cold and that's okay. Very good, very good. Me too, actually. I love wake up very early morning, that's for sure. Let's go for the second question. Right, just before the next question, tell me um, how, how, how is uh, the gay life in Minnesota? Sure, um, Minnesota is very LGBTQ plus uh, friendly. Um, we have a lot of um, social uh, clubs, a lot of sports leagues. I, for example, play on the Minneapolis Mayhem, which is a uh, it's a gay part of the gay rugby league. Um, so that's a lot of fun, um, a lot of fun bars and nightlife if you're into that. So it's very open, welcoming. Okay, cool. Next question is, um, describe yourself in a positive word and a negative word only. Just one word each? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, positive, um, driven. I'm very driven on everything I do. Mm -hmm. um, negative, um, oh gosh. I'm amazing, I don't have anything negative. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Sarcastic, maybe? Hmm. I tend to be too sarcastic and uh, doesn't always read I see. positively to people. <laughs> Even though I'm always joking, you know, so. Great. Let's get another word. <laughs> right, 
for the next question. So your family as well is uh, in Minnesota, they live there or? Um, nope, my mother lives in Wisconsin and my uh, father lives down in Florida. Right, do you have siblings? Yep, I have one sister. She does live in Minnesota, yeah, so. Cool. Um, just the one sister. Great. Next, I've got one sister as well, and she's back in Brazil, far away. <laughs> sure, sure. I'd love to be in Brazil right now myself, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Would be good, me too, actually. <laughs> right, so the next question is, um, is that a dream you always had? Like a goal? Um, yeah. Um, I just always want to do things that bring joy to me, to my life, and make me happy. So, um, I love helping people. That's why I, I like helping people find houses and, and all that. Um, you know, uh, a long-term goal that I'm working on, I'd like to own a cabin in the woods, on a lake. That would make me very happy to have getaway time there. So, but, um... Yeah, my goal is always to be happy. I want to do things that bring me joy. I don't want to have a boring job I don't like. I don't want to, you know, hang around people that are negative in my life. That kind of thing. Very good. Very good. Next question. Let's do Johnny. Okay, next question for you is, um, yeah. if you could have a superpower, what that would be and why? Um, gosh, is that, can I have all of them? Um, <laughs> <laughs> just one, huh? Um, I, uh, let's just go with flying. I think it'd be really great if I could fly and just go where I wanted and yeah. you know, experience the sky. <laughs> and where would you go? It's right now. Um, right now I would go south because it's too cold here. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I'd like to be sitting on a beach somewhere right now. So, I don't know. Anywhere Mexico, Florida. Florida. <laughs> good, good. Another question? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, before the next question, Johnny, and what's, what's the most challenging part of your job, in your opinion? Um most challenging thing um probably helping clients set clear expectations for what kind of house they they can afford um uh and and what will be a good investment uh, or a good purchase for them based on their circumstances you might want a, a mansion in beverly hills but you might only be able to afford you know, a condo or, you know, I but see. not everyone understands that right away. So it can be a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> but it always works out in the end, so, you know. Great. Okay. So how would you describe a perfect, healthy relationship? Um, I think communication is very important. Um, mm -hmm. Honesty. Um, chemistry I mean you have to like the person you're with but uh, on some level at least um, I think there should be some physical attraction I mean that's the person you want to be with for the rest of your life but I think honesty and openness is going to be probably the most important thing I agree I agree with you in your opinion what do you think nowadays um, it's the, the biggest um, cause of people's relationship like not going in a good direction if you know what I mean. Sure. Um, not being honest, not being open. Um, I think now it's so easy to turn on an app and, you mm -hmm. know, there's always another person to look at. I think that hurts a lot of relationships nowadays. Um, That's for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, th I do think social media kind of hurt relationships, but... Um, dishonesty is probably the main thing I think people, the main thing that'll ruin a relationship. Cool. Another question. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Johnny, next question for you is, um, what's the biggest risk have we ever taken? Oh gosh. Um, 
I, everything I do is very well calculated, but um, I, I guess the most recent thing in my mind is uh, becoming a realtor, you know? Uh, there's no guaranteed income, you have to find all your own clients, so it's scary, mm -hmm. you know, leaving a comfortable job where you know you have to pay every two weeks and benefits and really just going out on your own. So, I mean, that was pretty scary, for sure. And when was that? When did you take this step? Um, I've only been a realtor for about a year now, so I'm still pretty fresh. Um, but again, it's going quite well. So. Very good. Very good. No complaints. <laughs> That's what matters. That's what matters. <laughs> and I'm happy and I love it. So yeah, it's great. Great. Enjoying the show so far? Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Great. Let's get another question for you. Right. Before the next question, so tell me, um, do you always have the, the, the support of your family being gay? Yeah, for in my family, it, it's no issue. My mother, my father, grandparents, I mean, it's it's never been a problem with anyone, which is great. Not everyone has that, so. That's for sure. And how old were you when you came out? Uh, 18, 18, 19. Wow, very early. <laughs> I didn't feel like it at the time, but yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Right, what three things are you most grateful for? My health, my family, and my friends. Okay. It's an off, isn't it? <laughs> it is, it is, you know. I, I, I keep a small circle uh, intentionally, so everyone's near and dear to me. Good. Another question for you, Johnny. question for you is, um, when was the last time that you cried and why? Cried? Oh gosh. Um, that's a hard one. I'm not, I'm not a big crier, I don't think. Let's, let's um, say something that made you feel emotional or almost crying. Sure, sure. <laughs> um, um, so, uh, my father, when he moved to Florida, um, that was pretty recent. He moved down there in August. That was kind of sad because we were close and we'd hang out a lot. Um, we still talk a lot, obviously, but, uh, you know, he moved across the country. So that, that was, that was kind of a blow. And then uh, he just went for like a new opportunity or just changed his lifestyle? Him and um, his wife, uh, they retired and they, they got tired of living in the cold, snowy winters here that we have. So. They wanted to head south to the warmth and be by the ocean. Wow. Good. Yeah. Another question. Yeah. Hi, Johnny. Before the next question, um, so what's the most fre frequent question that your clients come to you when they're going to buy a house or a property? Um... How long will the process take? When will they actually be able to move in and call the house that they find their house, their home? So. And, and usually it depends different aspects to that happen or? It, it, yeah, there's so many variables, but anywhere from 30 to 90 days is typical. Oh, okay, not that long, not that far. No, not so. terrible, not no. terrible, but you know, it just depends on each client's a little different. Right. Next question for you is, send away a message to someone, but you don't need to tell who this message is for. Just the person who is going to uh, see it is going to know that the, mesh, the message is for him or for her. Oh gosh, that's a, that's a thinker. <laughs> um, that is a hard answer for me right now. <laughs> um, it's a good question though. Um, okay. I, okay. Um, I think about you all the time. Okay, great. Very good. Short and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Let's do it. Okay. Next question for you is: What are the top three things on your bucket list? Sure. Um, I would like to go on a hot air balloon. I'm terrified of heights, so that will be tricky. <laughs> um, I've never been to Europe, so I'd like to travel Europe. 
no specific country, just I want to see all of it. Um, and then, um, I don't know, I'd like to get married one day, maybe have a little family. Oh, wow, good one. Do you think of having kids as well? I would have, yeah, I would have children for sure. Not right now, but someday maybe. <laughs> They, I've been doing shoots today. I had, a, I had already uh, three guests on the show, and uh, one of them, he's a gay dad. He got three kids. That's fantastic. A good yeah. friend of mine um, has two of his own. Him and his husband um, have two wow. great kids, and yeah, yeah, I think that's, that's awesome. I would actually, fun, I would like to have as well in the future. I would love to have. I think uh, for me, like, like achieve something like we have of our lives when we have kids. I think it's kind of, for me, particularly, I would love to have some in the future let's see let's see what the destiny is it, it's bringing in the future let's see it i think it's great next question let's do it <laughs> okay johnny next question for you is if you had only 24 hours of life what would you do a lot of phone calls <laughs> you know let everybody know exactly, you know, what they meant to me and, and, and how much I care about them. Um, you know, I would probably, um, one of my favorite places is in Northern Minnesota. It's, uh, it's called Chippewa State Forest. It's gorgeous. I would probably drive up there and just enjoy the sunset over the lake and Maybe have a nice bonfire kind of kind of situation and just enjoy the quiet, peaceful beauty of, of the woods. Very good. And you'll say about uh, do a lot of phone calls. Let's let's put um, another question, another tough question for you. Let's pretend. Let's say that your your plane was going down and you could just call one person. Who that would be? Uh, who can I call that won't make everyone else upset? <laughs> 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 to take you the know, bed. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I would probably call my father, but the reason is he's the only one that would know how to get a hold of everyone else to let him know what happened. <laughs> right. <laughs> he would know how to find him on Facebook or, you know, whatever. <laughs> very good, very sweet. <laughs> so, right, but... let's get another question for you, Johnny. All right. your moves Love it's it. funny my dog is like what are you doing over there <laughs> <laughs> right when have you been the most happy um i'm the most happy when um i can give joy to others my friends my family so is that just quality time i mean it can be getting them just the right exact kind of gift or thoughtful gift that they didn't know they wanted but love. Um, I just like making people happy. So when I make others happy, that makes me really happy. Right, so you think it right now is the happiest you have ever been? I guess in recent memory, uh, the first house I sold, I felt really great about that, super accomplished. I was glowing for a week. So that's, I guess, that's the most recent thing I can recall. <laughs> okay, good, very good. Another question for you, Johnny. <music> My God, you are so easy answering questions. Very easy. I try. I try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you think your priorities have changed since you were younger? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, when I was younger, I wanted to have the best car, the best clothes, the most expensive everything. I wanted to be the coolest person. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I only do things that make me happy. If I like something, I'll buy it. I don't care what anyone thinks. Um, the price doesn't matter, that kind of stuff. Um, I've learned I just want to be good enough for myself. I don't care what other people think. So, yeah, my priorities change a lot. <laughs> very good, very good. Right, Johnny, I have three questions left for you, okay? Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> ah, 
right. Next question for you is: um, Did you have any Im imaginary friend when you were a kid, and what was the name? Not technically, but I did have a washcloth that was my like little friend I carried around everywhere. I don't even think I had a name for it, but it was it was like my stuffed animal, except it was a washcloth. <laughs> I'll tell you something now. My sister had one exactly the same. <laughs> she was literally, I remember her like holding, putting in her hand, and she was like this uh, her, around her, like her eyes, something like that, all the time. And sometimes I was so annoyed. I was like, Patrice, talk, because she was so <laughs> into it. Her name is Patrice. I was like, Patrice, what are you doing? I said, I don't know, I'm just doing that. I said, my God, just take this out. Just take this blanket away. <laughs> was I don't know. I think it was a comfort thing. I don't remember why, but I think me, I mean, it sounds for her, especially. Yeah, just, it was a yeah. comfort thing. <laughs> you, my God just made me remember that. I forgot about that. My God, yes. She used to have this little like blanket in her hands all the time. I'm gonna tell her like later that I remember that. I'm sure that she'll remember that as well. Sure. <laughs> Funny. Two, yeah. Two questions left. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the next question for you is, um, if someone gave you an envelope with your death dating sites, would you open it or not? And why? Um, I would not open it. Um, I'd be curious to know, but I, I don't think I could ultimately look. Um, I don't know. I, I think that's probably one of the life's greatest mysteries is when, when your final day is. And I don't know that I'd want to to know that ahead of time. Um, plus, I'm a bit of a hypochondriac, I guess is the right word. So it would just, it would, I would never be able to get the idea out of my head that I'm dying on, you know. Yeah. Whatever date it was. So no, I would not look. <laughs> Okay, I think me neither. I'll be so scared to open and I'll be like paranoid. Think about that all the time as well. That's for sure. You drive me nuts. <laughs> I know, yeah. I'll be very tempted actually because I'll be so curious about it, you know, but no, I don't think I would. Yeah. Ready for the last one? Let's do it. <clears throat> do it, Johnny. <laughs> Let's do the last question for you now. Okay. The same question, like quite similar. If someone offered you to tell your future, would you accept it or not, and why? I would not because I think that the future is <clears throat> not written. I think, I think it's something you can navigate based on choices that you make now. So, no, no, fair enough. No, I don't. I don't like the idea of a set future. I like to think I can create and navigate my own. I understand. Very good. Not the end yet. Okay, let's play now the quick thinking game. So I'm going to give away some words and you just tell me one word that comes to your mind. Ready? Sure. Let's start with religion. I think of church. Okay. Love. Uh, hearts. Money. Bank. Family. Love. Life. Exciting. Excitement. Sex? Uh, I think of devil horns. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Politics? Well, I think of Trump, but I don't want to. <laughs> Fear? A wolf. Religion? Oh, sorry, religion. Oh, sorry, friendship? Um, I picture my friend Heather. Desire? Um, I think of lust. Regrets? I'm drawing a blank. I don't have anything. <laughs> okay. No regrets. <laughs> I, I try not to. <laughs> Success. I think of money. Wish. Hopes. Hopes and dreams. Happiness. Um, I, I picture my life. <laughs> Good. And the last one, Minnesota. Uh, water, I think of lakes. Great, it's very good. Okay, let's pretend now I'm going to meet your best friend uh, for a cup of coffee and I'm going to ask your best friend, tell me the most memorable lesson you learned from uh, Johnny and tell him something that he needs to improve on. What do you think your best friend will tell me? What they would say about me? Yeah. Um, um, 
my best trait quality um, is that I'm really caring for people, probably too much. <laughs> um, I go out of my way too much for people that don't go out of their way for me. And then, um, what do I need to work on? Probably being less sarcastic. <laughs> Because again, I, I think I'm being funny, but I don't think it always is funny, <laughs> so. I see. And if I would ask the same question to your dad, as a consumer very close to your dad, what you would say? Um, friendly and outgoing would be my strong point, and then... He'd probably say I need to marry a woman, but then laugh. It would be a joke. I see. <laughs> So he wouldn't mean it. Um, I don't think he would say anything serious for me to work on or improve on. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's play now Johnny and the Magic Box. And you can ask okay. me a question. Okay, you can ask me a question now, Johnny. Sure. Um, so what is one thing that you've learned about yourself since the pandemic started? I love the question. I love the question. <laughs> Right, I, uh, very, it's, very, it's a very interesting question. I've learned, uh, like, it's connected with this um, this project I'm working right now. I'll tell you something, John, I've always been very proactive, like my life, I, I love being, uh, as, I, as I told you before, I love, uh, I'm an early bird as well, I love waking up early, I love to see the day through, I, lo I like to have my routine, thing that I like to do, but I've learned that, for example, during the first lockdown last year in March, um, the only way actually that I could, I would be able to start this project or this idea to came up to me was the only way it, it would be locked, like literally locked, because I'm so proactive that I, I don't think if I didn't go through this tough time, this challenge time that everyone is going through right now, I don't think I would be able to create this project and this idea to flow so naturally, so genuinely. So answer to your question, seeing my creativity, that uh, it was hidden. I, I, I love creating things, I love being, but I think that's something that I, I, I enjoy doing that for, I want to do that for life. So I think that during this time, my creativity just flowed more and more and more clear and more kind of uh, genuinely and personal as well. So I think it was hidden and uh, the only way for me to go into this journey I just need to be locked literally locked on my own and you know I, I didn't have uh, like uh, other ways I couldn't go to work I couldn't go to the gym I couldn't go for you know as, uh, meet my friends so what I do I was at home and this time when things started out wasn't easy as everyone I'm sure gone you know gone through a tough time right now and even the past but I think I'm, I'm grateful in a way because it's the only way that I could find this path in life that I'm enjoying so much right now. So yeah, that's my, my, my answer to you. I love the question. I love, I love fantastic. the question. That's fantastic. Uh, that's great. I'm, I'm glad you learned that about yourself. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think it's it's been a, a beautiful journey. And uh, yeah, I just want to do that more. I could do that 24 hours non-stop because I just enjoy to connect to people worldwide, interesting people like you. There's always something to share. And I think that's the, the good part of the, the, the journey. So did you have a good time? I did. It was a lot of fun. Um, it's, I love meeting new people, especially, you know, all across the world. So, yeah, it was great. And the questions Amazing. were good. Very good. I'm, I'm very happy. I, I just I'm so grateful that you accept my invitation. And uh, and I'm sure people out there, when they watch this interview, they're going to connect with you somehow. You know, like you talking about being come to Europe. My God, imagine. <laughs> By the way, when you come to Europe, let me know, OK? If you, if you come sure. across London, give me a shout so we can, <laughs> can show you around a little bit. I've been here for so many years, so we can, we can have a, a, a walk around this city. That's for sure. That'd be fantastic, absolutely. Great, and just before you go, if you don't mind to share a positive quote, a positive message or something that inspires you. Sure, sure. Um, don't wait, the time will never be just right. You know. It says everything, it says everything, <laughs> it, isn't it? Just do it, just do it, isn't it? Just go there and Act do now, it. do the things you're afraid yeah. of, yeah. And you'll, you'll, you'll be glad you did later. And if you if you feel scary, just go scary. Go feeling scary. Yeah, just go it. Just do it. That's the, the whole thing. John, it's been a pleasure. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks for being so sweet and kind. And um, it's been a real Absolutely. pleasure. Thanks so much. Okay, all the best and enjoy the weekend. You too. Thanks for reaching out. It was it was a lot of fun. Thank you. Take care, Johnny. Bye bye. Bye. Did you have a nice time? Enjoy the interview, William and the Magic Box. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, William and the Magic Box. 
And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, just visit our website, www.williamandthematicbox.com. Give a like, share the video, and see you tomorrow with another lovely interview. Bye-bye, see you tomorrow. Bye.